Unknown but casually back again, and everybody, you are probably looking at the layout and you're like, Yo, what's up with the layout? Why is there these evolved Pokemon and a freaking Azuril? Well, or Azumarill, whatever. Yeah, it's Azumarill, right? Yeah, yeah, Azumarill. But whatever. I went on a long journey and I, like, legit grind. You guys don't even know. Got 48, looking at level 48. Got Chompy level 51. Got our new member, Lyra level 22. Ignite level 52. And Aura, he caught up on levels, level 51. He's a beast now. He got, he has Aura Sphere. Really powerful move. Really, really powerful. What else did he get? Extreme Speed, he also got Extreme Speed. Heck yes, heck yes. He's, he's, he's just a beast now. He's a beast. Only one thing, only one thing we need now, and I don't know when it is, but when I find it, you guys will see. You will all see the power. The power. But anyways, uh, you're probably wondering, how did you evolve your Electabuzz? Well, you remember that uh, battle resort place with the BP and all that? Well, on the second counter, the trade stone, yeah, I got that. And that took me a few battles, because you had to, like, do, they only let you go up to four battles on the thingy, the battle thing I had. Uh, option I had open. There was another one that had, that was like level 60s or something, and like at the time I was like too weak, with like freaking Tyranitars and um, Salamances would like Salamances whatever would like one hit KO my butt. Like not even funny, guys. Not even funny. But and then Chompy um, also leveled up and whatever and just evolved. And then I went back for the Firestone for Ignite, when, because see, when I went to go get my Azuril, there was like this hidden place, sort of hidden, well not really hidden, but like, when you first go through there, you couldn't like access that area because you needed to cut, and that's where Meryl was hiding, there was also like Vulpixes and Growliths, so you could get like an early Growlithe right there, or you could get like a Mareep or something, or Electric, and if you walk all the way to the like, left of like wherever that place was you could find a firestone so I actually bought one when I could have just got one for free so yes, that's pretty much all I did yeah if you, if you need levels I recommend that BP, BP place because that BP place like like you guys don't even whoa Goldeen what what? What? I'm not riding on a gold dean. I mean, that's cool, but I don't even have a gold dean. That's. What? I'm guessing they were expecting you to use a gold dean. But I mean, what if like the person started off with a uh, hip club? They used fourth gen storage. Right? Yeah, but like, what if like the person started off with like hip love? Oh yeah, and um, if you guys hear like any like car noises or something for some weird reason, or like a lot of like a gust of air, that's just me with my window open because it's it was kind of hot or something. You know, I'm trying to get the moisture out of my room. Like, I don't know why my room's like really hot. I hate it. I hate it, guys. I hate it. But yeah, anyways, uh, what was it? Oh yeah, the Goldeen thing. Like, come on, guys. Come on, dude. You, you, the guy could have at least made it like a seeking or something, you know? A seeking. So I could be like, I'm the king of the seas or something. You know? Have you? Has anybody ever done that? Like a like a king team? Like sea king, slack king, kingler, Nido king, Nido queen too? I guess I don't know. Maybe not. Like a not a not a like not like a king team, but like. Like, 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 like a royal throne team or something, I don't know. You know, stuff like king and queen and, um, what's something else that could be? Maybe chata, like, is it like a jester, I guess? I don't know. Isn't, isn't that, like, what it's supposed to be? Like a jester? Sort of. I don't know. The chata just looks like one of those really fancy birds you would, you know, like rich, rich people would have that cost a lot of money or something. I don't know. I don't know. That's just that's just the feeling I get from it. It's just the way I see it. <sighs> but yeah. 
You know, has anybody ever thought about it? Like, Golpa is just like a big mouth. Like, if it eats something, like, where does it go? Into its legs? Has anybody ever thought? And how does it keep its, like, where's its tongue? You, you know, like, back then how, um, I think it was Pokemon Stadium, how in Pokemon Stadium they would always have, like, his tongue sticking out, and then, like, to cover his tongue, he would just, like, put his wings o on top of it. Like, where did his tongue go? Like, I mean, its body, its mouth is not that big, so it should be able to, like, we should be able to see it. Oh, I forgot this guy's flying. Jeez. Shady Penguin, get out of my video. You have your own videos. Thank you. Shout out to Shady Penguin. Just, just had to throw that in there. Um, it's rock here, right? But yeah, like... Oh yeah, that, another a, a question of the day. Um, question of the day, question of the day. Pokemon that creeps you out the most. You know, like, like for example, like, uh, like there's a lot of videos out there uh, that people have uploaded talking about how this is the scariest Pokemon because it does this, because it does that. You know, like, I want to know what you guys think is like the worst, like the worst of the worst. I think the worst Pokemon, worst Pokemon, would probably be Rapidash. I think, like, well, wait, well, you no, know, I said it creeps me out the most. What I'm saying, like, no, not creeps you out the most. Like, the Pokemon, worst Pokemon to have in real life. There you go. That's the question. Worst Pokemon to have in real life. I think it would be Rapidash because you can't even ride it. I know in the anime they let you ride it, but realis realistically speaking, you wouldn't be able to ride it. I mean, yeah, it would look cool, but like, it, uh, that's kind of that kind of takes away the point of it being a horse, you know? It's like horses are meant for riding and making transport easier, but like, I mean, I mean, unless they make like a fireproof saddle or something, you could. I mean, yeah, why not? But wouldn't the mane get in the way, you know? Yeah, simple, true, I guess. Just fire, fireproof main thing that you put over the main. I don't know. That would look weird, though. It wouldn't, it wouldn't look like a horse anymore. It's like fake. They put fake hair on the saddle main thing. Fireproof saddle main thing. So it looks like hair. <laughs> or something, I don't know. I just think that would be like the worst Pokemon to have. Because, like, doesn't it have, like, fire, like, on its feet, sort of? I think. Because, yeah, doesn't it? I don't know, I'm about to look on my phone real quick. So I don't have to mess with the computer, but look at where we're at. We're at Cape Azure, let's see. Bicycle Tunnel, okay, so that's just telling us that. Person Blake. Yeah, Google, Google's good, it's just, I like using Bing because Bing actually gives you reward points and stuff, and it, like, after a while, like, if you, if you think about it, like, after you accumulate, like, a whole bunch of points, you can actually get a gift card, which is nice. I know, it takes a while, though. If any of you know what I'm talking about, it takes a while to get, it takes a while to get those points for the Amazon gift card or something. Yeah, it does, it does have fire on its feet. Like, think about it, you're like walking like on semi, semi-tall grass, and like, the grass just catches on fire. <laughs> like, like, wow. Coming this way, I've heard that Team Fusion might be on the move, and I think I have an idea where they may be headed. Near Choco Town is the Temporal Tower, which houses ancient ruins from the past. I'm going to keep an eye out on that tower. 
Sigh. Sorry, gamer. And I'm just nervous about something important so happening soon. Try to keep focused on getting badges, and I'll continue contact you if something comes up. Once you get the Blaze badge, fly to Choco Town and surf to the east. Be seeing you. Oh, some girl with green hair said she was looking for you. She ran off to the Tuna Safari Zone to the south of here. Take care. Okay, so I know exactly who that is. I like how we're like 10 minutes into the whole episode and everything. And time out. Okay, and we're back. Alright, so. Are you tired of battling? They have contests in the Cape as your performance hall. You should try entering one. No, thank you. I don't really like contests. Only, like, the only reason I like contests was because of the customizable Pokeball thing in 4th uh, Gen. That was a really awesome feature. I like that. But, um, like I was saying. I like how we're like 10 minutes into the video and like, we, we, all we did was pass the really easy cave, cave. But yeah. yeah. I be back. Get to the chopper. But they're making a new Terminator movie. Our town is pretty simple, but it has a lot of neat things like the performance hall and then and Safari Zone. Yeah, I want to go to Safari Zone. Let's go to Safari Zone, guys. I want to go to Safari Zone. It's far as far But first I need to go make sure my Pokemon is real, really quick. Uh, let's see what this is. Cape Azure. So there's more, okay. So there's no gym here. That's sad. Um, I, I th he said the Blaze badge, right? Why is that cop there? Oh, I got you, cop. I got you. Alright, so I'm guessing, yeah, you can't go there. Um, yeah, that was like, maybe there's a bike lane and a walking lane, but... Um, welcome to As You're In, good for news, uh, the price of $1,000, what? Lower your prices? What? What's so special about getting a room? I want to get a room now. Wow, I really want to, dude, I'm gonna save my, my money up and just see what's in there. Have you ever, have you been on the overseas bridge yet? It's great to have wind rushing past you while riding your bike. I mean, I know how to get more money, just like go rebattle trainers, I guess. And then like, if you get like, per or Meowth or something, with like, Payday, you can just like, grind off like, wild Pokemon. Really easily. Or not really, not really easily, but <laughs> you, you get what I mean. Um, actually I do need to buy some Pokemon. Save my money. Whatever. Um, so Safari Zone is down here. Murkrow, Gray, and they go. Do I even have a flying Pokemon? Well, I mean, once I get, uh, what's it called? It can fly, but. Yeah, we're gonna have to catch it somewhere. <laughs> Speak of the devil, Pony Town. We were just talking, I was just talking about Rap Dash. Um, Swellow, I'd rather, I'd rather have more. Wow, I like how Murkrow will show up now. I, don't know, I just like, I just like, I just like, I just, I just like scared the crap out of it. Like it's never, it never wants to come back and say hi to me, you know. Ooh, Haze, that's a nice one. Haze. Oh, You know, that's an, that's an interesting move though. Bubble Beam, like, who would have known bubbles would hurt so much? Bubbles, they eat your souls. Yo, Murko, do not. Place the state in the last one with I'm gonna name it. No, it's not gonna be my team though. I just wanna give it a nickname, you know? I like nicknaming things. Like, I remember when I was a kid, like, I would never nickname anything. Like, wow. Never. But now I do it only once I know the Pokemon. I spelled that wrong. Right? I should have kept it like that just for dirt. Just for dirt. So I'm gonna need him later though. I really am. As far as I'm sure it's allowed, yeah, we know. Just, that's what catching is all about luck in this one. 
I think I'm actually gonna end this episode pretty early, or earlier than the others, and so next time it's all about the Safari Zone. This one was pretty much just uh, what's going on kind of video, I guess. But um, I'll see you guys next time. Make sure you like and are subscribed so you know when the next video is out. And with that, I'll leave you guys. Bye.